siblings, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a nice little makeup look because I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do my makeup. And summer is right around the corner, so I thought I'd show you guys my go-to makeup in the summer if I've been wearing makeup, because you know, summer's just a vibe. Today's my last day with my beautiful vanity here because as you guys know, I am selling everything so that I can move. And so I just wanted to like really take her in and film a little video with her. So let's zoom in here to my face. I just got out of the shower, so I'm going to moisturize first. So important to moisturize every day. And then especially in the summer, sunscreen. It's a must. It's not, it's not optional. Even if I wear no makeup, we're doing moisturizer, we're doing sunscreen. If we wanna look 30 when we're 50, we've gotta do the sunscreen. Now that we have all that, we can start. So in the summer, if I do any face makeup, which is what I'm gonna be showing in this video, um, instead of doing a actual foundation, we're just gonna do a BB cream, nice and light, light coverage, summer vibes. This is definitely like too dark for my skin, but once I'm tan, it'll work better. I got this when I had a tan, so... And there we go, nice light little base. My goal in the summer is to literally just look as natural as possible, but just a little like, it's almost just like put a little beauty filter on yourself. <laughs> um, okay, so in the summer, I'm probably not gonna be doing any concealer unless I need to cover up any blemishes. So that's it for the base. And then I might do contour, I might not. For today's video, we are going to um, need like a light brush. But I'm gonna do it very lightly, like barely any at all. Just like that, just looks like the sun has been on our face. And to complete that sun on our face, we're gonna need blush. We gotta give ourselves that little sun-kissed look. I saw on TikTok that everyone like puts their blush more like up, so that's what I've been doing. And then I like to put some on the nose and it kind of makes you look a little more sun-kissed too. There we go, looks like I've just been in the sun all day. Next up, we're doing eyeshadow. I actually use this bronzer as an eyeshadow because it's just like the perfect, if I can open it, the perfect like little nude color. So any nude eyeshadow will get the vibes like that, just all over the eye. Oh, also, I don't wear highlighter that often, but you know, sometimes I might want a little pizzazz. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit, just like the slightest bit, boom. Now we're focusing on eyebrows and eyes. So I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows, brush them out. You guys have seen me do this a million times. So what are you guys most looking forward to in the summer? Do you guys have any plans? Any travel plans? Anyone else moving like me? What's the vibe? What's everyone's vibe? Okay, so in the summer, I might just do mascara or I might do the whole eyeliner situation, but I just feel like eyeliner looks so good on me and makes my eyes pop and everything. So we are going to be doing eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. Hold up. But it's like almost out, so I just have this random one. But we'll try to use this one first. And I'm gonna try to give a little bit of an eyeliner tutorial, so let's get on in here. So first we start by literally just going over the eye. Just a nice line. Ow, I just got it in my eye. And then do it on the other side. I try to keep that line pretty thin and close to the eye. It's definitely harder just doing it in the viewfinder. Now for the difficult part, the wing. Okay, I kind of just angle my brush like this and just go for it. Wow, what a great tutorial. Just go for it. Okay, so let me do something like that and then we have to connect it. Okay, and that's like how I do it. That was a terrible tutorial, but that's my vibe. This side is always so much harder for some reason. Okay, these are perfect, but we're gonna call it good for right now <laughs> because I do not feel like putting in a million effort. Okay, and then my new thing is I like to take a white eyeliner and just go under. Makes my eyes pop. And then mascara. I use a burgundy mascara because especially in the summer, my eyes like pop more than more of like a hazel green. Like they look brown right now, right? They literally change colors in the sun. So these make that green kind of pop out more. I forgot to curl my eyelashes. 
I like to curl my eyelashes before and after I do my mascara, but I wait until my mascara dries to curl them after, and then it makes them really pop. Wow, okay. I didn't expect it to look this good. I'm always impressed when my own makeup looks decent, but doesn't this just give you like nice summer chill vibes? I feel like this makeup look just matches me, if that makes sense at all. Okay, I'm gonna take down my hair and then we'll do a little final reveal look. The hair's done and now that my eyelashes are dry, I'm going to curl them again. I just feel like it, make it makes it pop. Like, look at the difference. I don't know if you can even tell a difference, but <laughs> I can. And there is my summer look. Summer vibes, woo! Should I put on more of a summer outfit for the final look here? Okay, final reveal, this is my summer vibe. Oh, we gotta do my rings. I have this little bucket of rings. So, you guys are always asking where my rings are from. I'm gonna do my best to remember. Oh, and all my necklaces. Jewelry tour, here we go. <laughs> where to begin? Okay, we'll start here with the necklaces. This necklace was a gift from someone. I believe her Instagram is she embellished. Um, I'm pretty sure this necklace is also from her. This was a gift from my cousin Ellie, so I don't know where this is from. And this, oh, where is this from? It honestly might be from Shein or like Tilly's. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not good at this. And my earrings. So this is my most ass earring. This is literally from Amazon. I'm like 99% sure. And then this one, this one, and this one I got from the place that pierces my ears. So I really have no idea. And then um, these little ones, same ones I have over here, these two and the one up here are from Sally's. And they're literally the best because I have really sensitive ears so I have to use high quality jewelry. But these are $5, two of them come in there for $5. And I've never had any issues with my ears with them. They're hypoallergenic and they're just amazing. And they like clip, they like click in and out. So, um, let me show you. So they won't get like stuck in your ear because that has literally happened to me before. Okay, yeah, see it just like clicks. And then you click it back together. Anyway, and then I have a gold one up here because I've had time to go buy more silver ones. <laughs> um, and then this like little chain is from Etsy. And I just looked up like grunge earrings, I think, and they have like a ton of stuff on Etsy. And then I wear this anklet, which is my baby bracelet. So, you know, that one's from my parents. <laughs> Um, then my bracelets, geez, I don't even know where these are from. This is a loci bracelet. Yep, still rocking that one. Um, I stole it from a friend. Uh, this, couldn't tell you where it's from. This was also a gift with all these necklaces. And then this hair tie was from Target, which is like the best hair tie because it also is like a cute bracelet, which it's all stretched out because I had my hair up. And then this is a Pure Vita bracelet, which I have like a thousand of them. This one's my favorite. Now for the rings. So the rings I always wear and never take off are these two. This one is from Etsy. Um, I don't know what I looked up to find this, but Etsy. This one was a gift from LMC Thrifts. I believe it's her Instagram. This one is from Target. I like to wear it on this finger. I have no clue where this came from. I think it was thrifted or something. This one is so cute. Also a gift from LMC Thrifts. I wear it on that finger. And then this one was also a gift pop it on this finger. I'm sorry, most of my jewelry, I really don't know where it came from. It's either like a gift or from some random place that I can't like give the info because I don't have it. So some of the other places I get rings though are Pandora. Sometimes they have good ones for good deals. I don't even know where I get my rings. Etsy has so many good ones, so I would check there. But there's my jewelry haul. Anyway, this was supposed to be about makeup, so here's the makeup look. <laughs> Before this video ends, I just want to let you guys know that after recording this video, I went to go take my trash can in and to check my mail, but I forgot to grab my key because I have no brain cells and I locked the door behind me, which I never do when I'm checking the mail, so I don't know what I was thinking, and I now twice have locked myself out of my mail. So I had to go meet my landlord again, embarrass myself, ask for a key, and now we're back in. Now I'm going to go check the mail. Also, where is it? I have this candle over here. And it was like, I've been gone for like an hour and I was so stressed. I was like, those cats better not knock over that candle in there. So let's blow it out. I'm gonna go check the mail. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. And that is gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know by giving a thumbs up and leaving a comment. Where do you guys get your jewelry? What's your favorite makeup look? Um, coming soon, I wanna do like a hairstyles video, maybe like a summer lookbook, cause I got all these cute new clothes. 
So yeah, just stay tuned. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.